Would you believe me if I said this was the only clean mug left in the kitchen? I feel like I'm drinking out of a soup bowl. Hi friends. It's October, it's unavoidable, it's spooky season, and we gotta get into it. We just do, it's the law. I don't make the rules and I'm not really sure how to approach my content through the month of October. I'm strapped for time, I'm strapped for creative energy, but I do want to bring you some good, good Halloween content. So I think this year, most of my Halloween content is going to be product driven, product inspired, because I do have a few things that I'm sitting on that are going to be very appropriate for this month. One of which is from a brand that I have been meaning to dive into. Their previous two launches really did not pique my interest all that much, but this basic ass color story finally got me. And so I picked picked up the Victory palette from Game Beauty. It's adorable, it's thematic, it is a warm, neutral paradise in here. This color story got me thinking about a really cute look that I saw Knife Play do, I think it was last year. I will leave the photo up here. And I thought, that's about my speed right now. <laughs> And I think the Victory palette will do splendidly alongside this idea. So without further ado, let's get into some Halloween casual content. If that sounds like fun to you, then please keep on watching and let's get started. This thing is ridiculously big. So this brand has definitely piqued my interest more than once, just not enough to pull the trigger. The first palette they launched had a pressed glitter in it, which I try to avoid desperately. The second palette was just mostly pastels, which I kind of have a lot of in my collection, so I don't really need to go down that route. However, it was the combination of this art and the warm toned neutrals dream inside that made me want to finally just cave. You gotta love an indie brand that just gives it their absolute all when it comes to theming. And Game Beauty has that on lock. And I've dated enough gamers in my life to really appreciate all of the inspirations that they take. But I also love how it's kind of their own thing. They're not just ripping directly from any any one franchise. But these shimmers look exquisite. I think we should swatch a couple of them right now while we're here. Loot is, oh my gosh, so pretty. Kinda looks like a blue to green shift. We've got Glory, which has some gold reflect running through that bronziness. Ooh, that's pretty. Glass Cannon, which is your standard pop of blue. And this weird one over here called Gold. Appropriately named, very appropriately named. Okay, so the blue is quite sheer. The iridescent shifty one doesn't have much of a base either. I think the most opaque shimmers are the gold and the bronze here, and they're very soft. I think for the most part, we're gonna keep it pretty warm to go along with the jack-o'-lantern blush. Why don't we just stop talking, zoom you on in, and start playing with some eyeshadow. Let's just chat while I clean my brushes, shall we? It's been so hard for me this year getting into the spirit of Halloween. There's something about this year that is just making me want to procrastinate it until the end of time. Maybe I'm just putting too much pressure on myself. That is definitely something I'm prone to doing, but I'm finding it increasingly difficult this year to get inspired. It's just not coming to me. And that's okay. Maybe this year we'll just keep it a little more casual. It was so nice to be able to do a whole bunch of Halloween content last year. I do have a Halloween playlist on my channel. I'll link it up here. But I saved this pumpkin blush a while back and I just thought it was the cutest freaking idea. But this is also just a really good excuse to crack into this palette for the first time. Also, it's small enough that I don't think we need to do a full series on it. It's so itty bitty and wee, and I think we can get a good amount of shades into one look today. I think I wanna start off the crease with kiting here and let's start creating a shape with that. I am very unfamiliar with Game Beauty's formula. I haven't really seen a lot of videos on their stuff. So I'm very curious to see how this goes. Okay, so she's showing up pretty much right away. There's a gorgeous pumpkin-y orange. Ooh, it's like orange, but a safe orange, you know? Not making a whole lot of mess in the pan, but definitely showing up. It's very much grabbing on the brush really nicely. I really like it when an eyeshadow grabs onto the brush like that. I'm loving this all blown out. It looks stunning. Let's move on, deepen things up with a little bit of GG. Good game, good game. Which is the matte in the palette that is definitely piqued my interest the most. And it does not disappoint. It's a really lovely step down from kiting. This is definitely my kind of warm neutral. Let's go into OP. Wow. 
Well, isn't that nice? Oh, these are blending like an absolute dream. I think I'm going to leave a space to exaggerate the eye bag underneath because we're keeping it pretty cute today. So I'm just taking Gigi, the mid-tone of the look, carving out that eye bag. Blend it out with a little bit of kiting. And then deepen it up just a bit right underneath with OP. Just to deepen up even further in the crease, let's take tank in a very concentrated area. Just right on that outer third, not going too far outside. I definitely wanna see some of these shimmers just pop. I think I wanna start in the middle of the lid and use gold. It's a beautiful gold. All right, let's tap into some glory for the outer edge. Oh yeah, that slaps. I love the reflex in that. Something really unique about that. It's not straight up bronze. And because I really want to see it in action, let's finish off the inner corner with loot. It really is more of a topper than anything else. That green coming through, mm, it's pretty basic, but I do love a good basic color story. That's just a little different, a little unique, a little outside of the box. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. Why don't I go throw on some lashes? And when I come back, we will start on the jack-o'-lantern blush. Other side is done, lashes are on. These are Lash Goals by Boldface. I think on its own, this look is just so gosh darn cute. I love the combination of shimmers on the lid. It's just a really good neutral look. I also threw in a combination of stuff in the waterline. Poppy, which is an old one I've been holding on to, probably should get rid of it. It's just straight up orange. Sistas from the Hocus Pocus collection, and then a little bit of jumbo eye pencil in milk from NYX. Moving on, let's start the blush. And my original plan was to use this palette for the blush. I think, however, that Gigi, the one I originally thought might work for this, is just leaning a bit too neutral for this to really pop. So plan B is to bust out my Sugar Pill Pro Pan palette and use Flame Point here. It's a classic orange. Also, I think we could lay down a little bit of Carnival first just to start off the blend. This is the Clown Blush palette from Likely Makeup. To create this little jack lantern shape right on the apple of the cheek, we're gonna keep all the blush super concentrated into one place. So let's tap into Carnival first and work this into the apple of the cheek. And making these symmetrical is going to be an absolute nightmare. Let's hit the chin while we're here and a little bit on the nose. All right, now let's get into the good stuff. Let's tap into Flame Point. Okay, super glad I went with yellow blush first because I think that blend really softens the look quite a bit. I think that's about as symmetrical as they're gonna get. And now for the fun part, drawing the actual jack-o'-lantern face, which is the part I've been dreading. I'm gonna pull up the one Knife Play did because I really liked the jack-o'-lantern face that she did. Let's actually start with the nose because it's right in the middle. Okay, what do we think so far? Is this good? Is this anything? Okay, now for a little triangle eyes. Okay, but that's pretty freaking cute, right? I can't believe I actually pulled that off. Oh my God, yay! Ah, I love it. And it does look like a little jack-o'-lantern. It's so cute. Okay, now, ugh, now to try and do it on the other side. those little jack-o'-lantern teeth. Mm. 
Okay, but like NYX Epic Ink Liner can't be beat. Drugstore, come on. Oh my God, I did it. I don't know if knife play originated this idea, but it's stinking cute. Just gonna do a little bit more blush around the nose cause I feel like you can get away with it with this kind of look. I am very pleased with how that went. <laughs> That could have gone so horribly wrong and I'm so glad I did not. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of good game and kiting to go a little bit onto the Cupid's bow and under the lower lip. Let's try and cram highlight in here somewhere because I feel naked without it. I think Space Age Prophecy, it's an orange to green multi-chrome iridescent thing that I think will pair really well with loot here on the inner third. Grab a little bit for the back of the cheek, just a titch on the apple, the chin, definitely the nose. Pop that onto the inner corner as well. Oh, this is like the perfect Halloween highlighter. Just realized. Okay, for a lip, I think I'm just gonna keep it in the same vein. I really wanted to give Harissa another go from Bite Beauty. I can't remember what video I use this in, but I will link it up here. The color is just too perfect to not try it. It's fine. I'm still not a fan of the texture. It kind of slip slides around. Doesn't really want to stay in one place, which is really annoying. Me trying to give serious criticism when there's two jack-o'-lanterns on my face. Like it's not matte, but it's not satin. I would rather it just pick a lane, you know? Just for fun, I'm gonna grab a little bit of pumpkin rose from Fenty. Throw it onto the center. That's a little better. I think we were there, folks. All right, and that is this Halloween casual featuring the Game Beauty Victory Palette all complete. I am so pleased with how this turned out. It is pretty much exactly what I envisioned and it was really fun to put together. Highly recommend Jack-O-Lantern Blush for anyone needing to get into the spooky spirit. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Look at these little faces. These are now my two sons and I love them with my whole heart. What should we call them? I don't know, leave your names for my sons down below. I had a really fun time playing with this palette. These shimmers are so, so beautiful. I love the absence of the pressed glitter. Good on you, Game Beauty. And these warm toned neutral matte shades, they are so lovely. This is a really fun little take on that warm neutral color story. It's so compact, it's petite, it's concise. It would be a really good autumnal travel palette. I don't really have much else to say, except Game Beauty has a great formula and y'all should go check them out. Would you try jack-o'-lantern blush on yourself? I think it would be even cute without an eyeshadow a look. Also, are you familiar with Game Beauty? Have you ever heard of them? Do you own anything from them? If so, what are your thoughts on their formulas? As always, I love chatting with you guys, so please leave it in the comments below. All right, me and this novelty mug are going to head out. But before we do, please let me rattle off the spiel to you. Here are the many ways that you can help out my channel. You can give this video a huge thumbs up. You can comment down below what you thought of everything. You can subscribe. Any and all engagement with this video is crucial to its success in the algorithm. So if you have a few spare seconds, please engage with this video. You can follow me on other social media. I will leave those right there. If you wish to support me financially, I do have a Patreon. The link is down below in the description box, along with a bunch of petitions to sign and places to donate. And with that, folks, please stay safe, stay sane, wash your hands, wear a mask, stay home if you can, get vaccinated if you can. Just keep doing your best, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!